Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and here's your word for the day. As followers of Jesus, we face the challenges of life every single day. Sometimes it feels like it's coming from all sides. One of the many challenges that we face is when someone hurts you with their words. Whether it's a lie that they are spreading about you or just want to attack your character because you follow Jesus. So how do you respond when others hurt you or, or even attack you with their words? Because our natural response is to take matters into our own hands and fire back with words of our own, which always leads us down a path of guilt, regret, and unresolve. So what do we do? Well, in Psalm chapter 5, David, who was king of Israel, was no stranger to the challenges of life. And he's going through this exact thing. They are speaking lies about him, attacking him and hurting him with their words. But listen to how he responds, because we can learn a lot from it today. Psalm chapter 5, starting at verse 1, says this. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Give attention to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. Now I'm going to go down to verse 8. It says, Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. David's initial response wasn't to take matters into his own hands, but instead he took his cries, his frustrations, his groanings directly before God, laid it before him and watched. That means he waited for God to speak to his heart. And instead of reacting to the hurtful words that would lead anyone to a path of regret uh, and guilt, he said, lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. Give me the direction and guidance that I need so that I don't respond like the old me and lose myself in the process. When you have been hurt by the words of others, have you been quick to react and fire back with words of your own? Whether it's in person, a text message, or on social media, and has it led you down a path of more hurt, pain, regret, and unresolved? And maybe, and just maybe, you lost yourself in the process. Well, can I remind you today that the next time that that happens, do what David did. Bring all of your hurts, your frustrations before God. Lay it down before him and wait. Wait for him to speak to your heart, to give you guidance and the direction that you need as you let him lead you in his righteousness so that you don't respond like the old you and so that you don't lose your joy and so that you don't forget who you are in Christ Jesus. And instead, start rejoicing. Rejoice knowing that you are a child of God and that the battle belongs to him and not us. Remembering that he is our protector, our refuge, and our shield. Listen how David wraps up this psalm in verse 11. He says this, But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover him with favor as with a shield. So let's let David's plea be our prayer today. Lord, lead me in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. God bless you and have a wonderful day.